Welcome back. SolidWorks 2025. Let's cover this time uh, the patterns. So we have linear patterns and circular patterns. Let me very quickly create a couple of holes that we are going to pattern. So let me choose from here, let's say an M4. And on the hole type, I will keep it simple, just a, a threaded one. Well, let's say, yeah, M4 is fine. Okay, so I will pick this, uh, the, the holes uh, topic had been covered in one of the other videos that we have, the previous ones. So if you need to uh, take a closer look to it, you can go to the corresponding video. So I'm going to add um, an horizontal relation against the center or the region of the part. We are having the hole. Uh, this hole is not intended to be, um, let me see, a simple hole, threaded hole. Oh, I see. So I have uh, the near counter sync option. Let's remove it. Let's select again. And M6 is fine. Not true all. I want it blind and leave it as the standard as it, it is coming from the, from the software that is based on ISO in this case. All right, so we have a threaded hole, a blind threaded hole. Now let's do another one. But first, let me drag this one up to here. Yeah. And move the end of the part so we can uh, suppress for a second the chamfers and uh, fillets. Let's do another hole. Exactly the same thing. I will. Yeah, SOLIDWORKS is going to remind what I used last time. So I will just jump into position. I will pick this face and I will drop it something like here. I will add the dimensions. So it can be at seven and seven from this other section. I will make them equal. Well, this is... Um, equal this then in here okay so now it is fully defined remember fully defined your sketches is a good practice okay so now uh on the topic of patterns let's start with the rectangular pattern so the first thing that the software is waiting for us to tell him is um to select the direction. You can pick geometries directly from the uh, part, so pick faces, or maybe you can also pick an edge to provide the direction. A good tip is to uh, click in here or have the model tree and select one of the uh, origin planes. This is more consistent uh, than um, any other geometry. For a reason you delete something, uh, that has been used as a reference for the pattern, it is going to fail. So um, first recommendation is that one. So, okay, so let me pick, um, have direction one, then we have direction two, that I will pick this uh, top plane. And now I'm going, to, I'm going to select the feature that I want to pattern. So in this case, it's this one. So let me adjust this a little bit. Um, is this? Oh, yeah. We need to change the quantity. There you go. Okay. So now I click and check, and there I have my first pattern. Now let's go with, with circular patterns. Circular patterns are going to be something similar, but the software first is pretty fine for let you to select the feature. That's fine. And then at the end, select the uh, circular reference or the axis. So for the axis, it can be also to be the same way, select the face, a cylindrical face, or you can turn on a temporary axis in here. So you can pick the axis, but uh, at the end is something similar in terms of if the geometry disappears, uh, your model is going to be in troubles. So just to, to take in count. Okay, now I click here on check. 
Okay, so I can see them. Our recommendation, do not leave the temporary access on. If your model is too complex, it is going to uh, slow down your computer. And well, actually, if I move the end of the part to the bottom, I'm probably going to be uh, looking at the temporary axis now. Yeah, you can see them. This temporary axis are for the different uh, fillets. You don't want them to be there. So just uh, turn off the option. All right, so this one is a quick one. So I hope uh, you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments. Um, I will keep posting these videos. So probably this other one, if you have not seen it yet, you can continue uh, on it and continue learning. Thank you.